welcome back to another Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 video. Today we're going to be continuing the Quest to Max Rank 2.0 series. Let's hop into the multiplayer portal and play a game of Turf Takeover. Okay guys, we're in the game. Let's be Captain Party Man, as that's the character that I am actually ranking up right now as the Captain Deadbeards. Now I actually don't think I have a Quest to Max Rank video playing as the Captain Deadbeards because the last one I recorded was me ranking up my engineers and as you guys will know that they are all master now so i have been working on my uh, captain deadbeards and they actually haven't taken very long i think today is going to be the day when um they're all going to be master too along with my roses i'm going to try and get those all to master today as well as i've only got to get my original rose and my druid rose to master and then with the captain deadbeards it's only the uh, captain party man and captain squawk that need to be master so i think i'm doing pretty good right now guys um yeah so quick update from the last quest max rank i explained about this whole issue with my college and you guys seem to really like show your support on that video thank you for all the really nice comments about um what actually did happen at my college i can give you guys some stuff that did actually happen now um because i was at college yesterday and i did have my review yesterday so yeah i had my review yesterday my first ever review for college and i passed so i was really happy because um, I was so scared that I wasn't going to pass and my thing is I actually hadn't had my review before and some people had so they were resubmitting but I was having my first review so I had a chance to resubmit and um, I passed it first time I was actually having my review which I was very happy about so now that is out of the way um, I can start working on my other stuff to do with my course and my college work and so yeah I passed I think I got like a merit in most of the things which if you don't know it goes um i think it's fail then pass and then merit and then distinction so i think i'm doing pretty good with my college work right now and i'm kind of happy that that's how it worked out so yeah i'm feeling pretty good that i managed to pass and hopefully i can um, um in the next review i can pass as well so that'd be pretty cool but yeah, um, yeah, my next coursework sort of thing, I'm not really looking forward to because uh, it's this thing where we have to make these concept art pieces and we get two weeks per concept art piece and I was going to do them all digitally because I feel like I'm way more confident doing everything digitally, but no, um, my, my uh, tutor does, does not want us to do every single thing like with to do with like the concept art stuff he doesn't want us to do um the same thing every single time so say i was to do it on photoshop one time he wouldn't let me do it on photoshop again i'd have to do like on my next concept art piece like an illustrator or just like hand drawn which i honestly don't agree with because like if he wants our work to be the best it can be, he should let us do like the uh, concept art pieces in our like desired sort of medium. And um, I'm really annoyed because I was going to do all of the concept art pieces like digitally on Photoshop, as well as the fact that I'm actually hoping to get a drawing tablet for Christmas. Like, and the this concept art piece is due in on um, Monday next week, so. Uh, yeah, I've got about six days as of this recording. I think I am uploading this today, so you guys will know that, yeah, this is in real time for this video. So, yeah, I've got six days to make this uh, concept arts piece, and I do have a uh, drawing tablet already. It's just not a very good one, which is why I'm getting a new one for Christmas, hopefully, so then I can hopefully do some awesome drawings on Photoshop. And I do need to get Illustrator at some point, because I feel like that's really going to help me in my course. But yeah, that's just a little quick update about my work. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Hopefully he's just going to let me do it digitally all the time, because he will see my work if I do it like... Um, like just the traditional way, just drawing, he won't like that because it'll look terrible. But um, yeah, that's just a quick update on that. But yeah, I'm really, really like ranking up loads recently. And I've also got something else really cool to tell you guys as well. Oh my god, I didn't even, I didn't like remember until now. But um, yeah, I was playing Pokemon Sun and I got to the second trial. I started, I accidentally started doing the second trial, but I saved before I went in. So um, I exited out of that trial 
And then I was like, okay, I've got my first shiny. I'm on the second trial, so I'm going to go for another shiny as I'm doing a shiny trial quest in the game. A shiny trial quest is basically where you try to get a shiny every single like time before you enter the next trial. Um, so yeah, that's basically what was happening there. And I went and started the hunt and about 300 encounters in, I find a shiny. Like, are you actually serious? It only took me a, a few hours in that hunt. When my shiny Litten, like, took over 100 hours, and I only took about 3-4 hours on that hunt. Like, what? I don't understand how that works. I got a random, like, full odd shiny. Like, I really couldn't believe it when I saw it. I got a shiny Metapod. I wasn't really going for a Metapod. So I think what I'm going to do is... Well, I've already completed the second trial now. But I think what I'm going to do now is take a little break. Try and rank up my Roses and my Captain Deadbeards. And then once I've got them both to Master, I'm going to start another hunt. Just like straight after the trial. Because I really want a shiny Grubbin. Now, that this is actually a new Pokemon in the game. And I really, really want a shiny Grubbin, which is a Pokemon that looks really, really, really cool. And I'm really wanting to get a shiny Grubbin. So I'm going to try and get one of those. If I get another shiny and it's not a shiny Grubbin, and um, it's like another Metapod or something, I'm going to keep on hunting for a shiny Grubbin. I seriously want a shiny Grubbin on my team because it evolves into something super awesome. Like, it's unbelievably awesome. So that's what's going on there. But that was a pretty short game. I think what we're going to do is we're going to play half of the next game. And then, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next game. Okay, guys, we're back in the game. I was hoping that we'd be on the plant side. But it looks like we're actually going to be on the zombie side again. But that's completely fine. I'm going to hopefully get to level 9. I think when we get to level 9, or like we're halfway through this game, I'm going to be exiting out of the game and opening a couple of the new sticker packs. And hoping to get another legendary out of those. But yeah, I'm, in, I'm just going to keep on explaining the story about the Pokemon stuff. But yeah, I'm really wanting a shiny Grubbin. Now, I th I'm, I'm probably going to put it on the screen right now if I can. That's if I can and if my capture card is being like nice to me today, which it hasn't been for the past week. It's messed up all my recordings in the past week, so um, that's why the quality of those videos might not have been as good as they possibly can be. So sorry about that. Hopefully this one does not mess up. And so, yeah. I'm going to be hopefully getting a shiny Grubbin. If I get a shiny Picky Peck, I might keep that as well, like for my team. And um, so, and hopefully get the Grubbin as well. I wouldn't mind a shiny Picky Peck, to be honest. It's just, like, it's not my Pokemon that I was, like, going for. I really wanted a shiny Grubbin, and I got a Metapod. And I just really wanted, like, a shiny that was, like, a new Pokemon, like, new Gen 7 Pokemon. So, I was kind of a little bit disappointed after getting the um, the Metapod. I know it was like a full odd shiny, but it, was, it kind of wasn't the Pokemon I was going for. I've evolved it into a Butterfree now, so it looks pretty cool. My only issue is I'm not a massive fan of Butterfree or Metapod, or just that line of Pokemon in general. So, yeah, I'm going to be going for a Shiny Grubbin. If I get a Picky Peck, I'm going to get a Picky Peck and put that on my team. But then I'll be hunting again for Shiny Grubbin and maybe putting my Butterfree in the PC as um, I might not really be using it for my playthrough. But it did help me in the second trial. I would not have been able to beat the second trial without the Butterfree. So that was good that I did get my Butterfree. I actually did put my Grimer in the PC as well. Just because, um, yeah, I did I did have a Grimer. And he was supposed to be there to make my encounters faster. And, um, yeah, he just wasn't high level enough to run away from the Pokemon 100% of the time. So I was like, well, I'm just going to use my uh, my Toro Cat and um, just make, make it so that... I can run away from the Pokemon every single time because I think the time it takes for the shiny sparkles in the battle um, compared to like the amount of times that he wasn't running away from the Pokemon kind of um, like makes up for that time that it was like not running away. So I was like, I'm just going to use my Toro Cat because I know that I can run away every single time from the Pokemon if they're not shiny. So yeah, I if you know, guys don't know, I evolved my Litten into Toro Cat now. It's a shiny Toro Cat. 
looks pretty awesome. It's level 25 or 26, can't really remember. I have not played Pokemon since yesterday and that was kind of in the morning because I, I kind of got stuck in the game. So that's probably why I'm going to go for another shiny just because that's something for me to do. And then after I've got that shiny, I'm going to go and look for another Pokemon. But yeah, how's your guys' day going? I um, only woke up about three hours ago. And, um, yeah, so I'm recording this on Tuesday morning, and this will be going out on Tuesday evening, so I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you, hopefully you guys had a good day. I am looking forward to Christmas so much. Technically, it's not next week, but technically it is next week, if you get what I mean. Christmas Day is next Sunday, but some people don't classify Sunday as the next week, so say, like, today is Tuesday, and people might say, oh, but next Sunday isn't next week, that's in two weeks' time. But some people say that Monday to Sunday is a whole week, and then, and then like, sun Sunday to Saturday, people say, is a whole week. I don't know. But it's kind of confusing about, like, how people, like, see weeks as. Technically, Sunday is the first day of the week, but it's still the weekend for some reason. Dates are confusing. Days of the week are very confusing. So, um, yeah. People can say it's next week, but it might not be next week. But I know that this Sunday, I can say that Christmas Day is next week, so I'm very excited for that. So hopefully I can get some cool stuff on Christmas Day. I'm hoping to get Overwatch, so you guys will be able to play Overwatch with me. Let me know if you want to see an Overwatch video. I put some Overwatch gameplay in the background of my 3,000 subscriber special, because they were doing a weekend of free Overwatch um, like a trial of Overwatch like for free so that's why I um, had the gameplay of Overwatch in the background because I did play Overwatch a lot in that free to play weekend so I really did enjoy it so I'm hopefully going to get it for Christmas but we're actually in party time right now which is crazy so hopefully we can get a vanquish here in party time hopefully I feel like no, that, that pea shooter is gone now I want to at least get one vanquish in party time because he does loads of damage he has increased damage in party time so hopefully we can oh never mind boy did we did get a vanquish there we did get a vanquish there so maybe i'm going to try and get to level 10 as the captain party man and then we're going to be ending the um game there yeah this guy this guy is nearly level 10 nearly master so then the only character left will be captain squawk which will probably be at the next uh, question mark rank if I'm not playing as the roses. So yeah, we're getting there. We're slowly getting there I'm probably going to be uploading another video today promoting either the roses or the captain deadbeards to master Today I think because I'm gonna get these guys to master today both of them today I think because I have a day off today of college because I don't really go into college like five days a week I get two days off during the week and Tuesdays are my days off which is why I mainly record videos on Tuesdays and Fridays but I do make the exception of Thursdays when the mystery portal is open but the mystery portal is actually not going to be open this week it is a community challenge which I'm actually quite excited about to see what this new community challenge is going to be all about and um, yeah that'll be quite cool I'm gonna see if they actually have a legendary as one of the items that we can get because that'll be pretty cool because I need to get the legendaries now because I don't have all the legendaries anymore. Apparently there's like six or something. Six new legendaries in the new sticker packs. So hopefully we can get those soon. But I am actually slowly getting my coins back guys. I'm nearly at two million coins already again. I've been playing the game a lot. I just hated seeing my coin amount like low. So I have been playing the game a lot and I did get loads of coins so i'm going to be saving up again and maybe doing some mini pack openings the legendary customizations don't really bother me too much because they're not characters like i can still get to max rank and not have all the customizations so that's why i spent so many coins trying to get all of the legendaries um all the legendary characters um so yeah that's basically that and hopefully we can get those legendary customizations sometime soon but we were so close to vanquishing that guy that was like kind of annoying but we do have 15 vanquishes right now we have a guy who's max rank in the game there is a new rank plate for max rank that is going to be me hopefully very very soon i'm gonna hopefully try to get to max rank before christmas i know that's kind of like a big goal like a like a not achievable goal 
but I'm going to try and get to max rank by Christmas because I did work out if I get at least 50 ranks a day um, up until Christmas then I can get to max rank. It is possible so I am going to be spending a lot of my time leading up to Christmas to try to get to max rank before Christmas. I actually had two goals which was one to get my shiny litten before Christmas and two to get to max rank before Christmas and both of those are completely possible because the, my goal to get Litten before Christmas is already completed because I got my Shiny Litten um, last week. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I still can't believe I got that Shiny Litten to be honest. That Shiny Litten was so awesome to get. I got him at college and um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. So I have Shiny Metapod, well actually Shiny Butterfree now and Shiny... Uh, Litten or Shiny Toracat right now and um, yeah I'm going to go in for Grubber next as I have explained earlier on in today's video but hopefully we can get to level 10 really soon because that would mean that we have this character at Master and then that would contribute to actually getting to max rank because the whole point of these videos guys is to try to get as many ranks as possible and um, that was basically the whole aim of my first quest to max rank series that I did have which was the Quest Max Rank series on Garden Warfare 1. I had a series, th that is why this series is called Quest to Max Rank 2.0 because I had a Quest to Max Rank series originally on Garden Warfare 1 so that's why this is called 2.0 because this is in Garden Warfare 2 and I already have a Quest to Max Rank series on my channel so yeah that's basically the reason why I decided to call it 2.0 um, if you guys really were kind of confused as to why it was called Quest to Max Rank 2.0 it's just because I'm getting to max rank twice now Max ranking Garden Warfare 1, in my opinion, was very difficult. Max ranking Garden Warfare 1 is rank 313. That might not seem like a lot of ranks compared to Garden Warfare 2, but if you play Garden Warfare 1 yourself, you will know that I spent 2 hours just getting 5 ranks. In this game, if you spend 2 hours playing, you can get about 10-15 ranks, I'd say. And that's if you're playing as characters that you don't really like like to use, or if you're playing as characters that are decent, I think. You can get that many ranks in that amount of time. So, there is a big difference in how many ranks you can get in an hour. And the ranking up system in Garden Warfare 1 was very different to Garden Warfare 2. And it still is very different to Garden Warfare 2 because it hasn't actually changed. So, if you guys don't know, max rank and how to rank up in Garden Warfare 1... Basically, you had to do like challenges. They were called challenges. They're basically like quests in Garden Warfare 2, but they're challenges and they're the way you rank up. And um, yeah, that is basically it. That's what you do. You just do quests or challenges and then you rank up. But you have to do like 15 or something challenges per like rank, which is insane. But we have our Captain Party Man to uh, master right now. So we are going to be heading out of this game and I'm going to be opening up some sticker packs. See you guys in my backyard. Okay guys, we are back in my backyard. Let's go ahead and open up some sticker packs here and see what we can get. I'm going to open up like two or three of them just because of how expensive these sticker packs are and how much I'm like not getting out of these sticker packs. The only things left I have to get in these sticker packs are the legendaries. See if you see here, I'm only getting like the consumables and stuff. So it's kind of annoying that I'm not really getting that much stuff from these sticker packs. But I I'm going to have to open these up to try and get the legendaries. So it's kind of annoying. But we're going to open up one more sticker pack today. And then I'm going to be ending the video there. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy today's Quest to Max Rank 2.0 series video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. They really do mean a lot to me. Subscribe to be notified when I do upload a new video. And I will hopefully see you again next time. Have a good day everyone. Goodbye.